Yo, how's it going guys? It's KPR here bringing you guys another video, and today I want to talk about D.Va and the way Overwatch just balances their game. Now, if you guys don't know, they go based off statistics, and this could be good and bad, but once you get to the bottom of it, once you have around 70 to 80% of your population, like tank population, playing a certain character named D.Va, only about half of that is going to have that high win rate, or a decent win rate. Now, this is literally just math. You literally cannot have everyone winning each single match. Because if they go D.Va, guess what? Most people just mirror it because Zarya is not really a true counter. And Sim, not really either. Now, the balance that came out about the armor being nerfed to 7 flat damage instead, and her being removed with the armor... Well, they didn't mean Jack. Now, she does get, like, I wouldn't say melted. That's just over-exaggerated to say she gets melted by Zarya or Sim by themselves now. Nah. Now, if you have both of them countering her, yeah, she gets, like, yeah, she gets ticked down a bit faster than last time. Just because armor, you know, way weaker than it was before. Really annoying. That 50 armor nerf that she got doesn't mean jack now what i really hated about her is how she had a really fast time to kill along with her cooldowns and she could get to you just insanely fast especially now with juno in the mix and turns out there was actually a bug when juno came out and diva's boost would somehow multiplicatively apply so she'd just be insanely fast and they patched this out but Q said that they get around the same distance either way. Something about that. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is that Q said that this is the most balanced Overwatch has been. There is no outlier. There's totally not a single diva in almost every page of the top 500 for tanks. Nah, nah. There, she's definitely not a huge outlier. Sometimes she's literally the most played in the tank category no 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 that means she's balanced it means that she's just that fun to play and that her defense matrix is an op three seconds on defense matrix and i believe you get about if you deactivate it and if they're not shooting anymore or something like that it's about a second and a half i want to say but let me double check that my dudes yeah so i was checking around the internet and saw that she has 10 meter range about a second and a half if you toggle it off when you're using defense matrix and she also you know i already said it uh three seconds of defense matrix uptime i forgot how long it takes but according to the page it said around 10 seconds don't know if that's true or not because it hasn't been updated in a while and i forgot what other buffs they gave her because they just kept giving her buffs over and over again they're doing the same right now with orissa pretty annoying She's not really underperforming or anything, which is what they said too. So what was that buff for? It makes no sense. They don't know what they want to do. They probably just want to bring the horse back into the mix just because she was really oppressive for about three seasons straight. And they're like, you know what? We're getting bored of D.Va. She's already been oppressive for two seasons. Let's just not make it three. And let's go with a different tank to buff. Now, Karkyu also said in the video that her counter is actually ranged now so you could play widow and stuff she totally won't be defense matrixing you probably won't dive you at all because she doesn't have any sort of jetpacks or oh wait she does have that huh damn it's like almost like she can close the gap and you know the counter is ranged yet she can you know counter that pretty fast too especially towards a widow who has 175 health Huh. Oh, is it 175 or is it 225? I remember. All I know is that everyone hates Widow and so do the devs. So they keep nerfing her in general. Like her health wise just so she could get melted instantly. But anyway, screw D.Va. Now, this is the thing I'm getting at. Is that these developers don't know how to balance things at all. They think that this 50 armor nerf was 
a big nerf and that it shouldn't have even been done in the first place because she's not overperforming but she can't overperform at all if 80 percent of the people are playing her and only 40 percent can win how does that make sense what do, are these dudes thinking they truly don't know what they're doing giving buffs were not needed giving some nerfs were not needed either so yeah they're just buffing the wrong things and then nerfing the you know the wrong things as well it, they truly don't know how to balance the game basing something off of statistics like that like win rate because they were actually pretty known for doing that that's why they buffed Junkrat a lot in overwatch one and why he was i want to say really broken but it's spam rat pretty annoying to be murked by a random uh, little bomb like that now what they really should have looked at for diva statistics is how fast she can murk a tank and how much damage mitigation she's getting per match dog there have been so many matches where I just see a D.Va with 40k damage mitigation. It's like, bro, what the hell am I supposed to do against that? Defense Matrix has such a huge range and lasts 3 seconds. And she gets it fairly fast again. So, uh, and then people would say it's a skill issue if you can't beat her with Zarya. Like, dog, Zarya and Sim have to both be melting at the same time and if they have any sort of decent support she's still gonna put up a huge fight it's not gonna be like a one-sided fight nah it's you're gonna be struggling to kill her with both of the counters no one hard counters her winston you can go winston to try to counter her, but it's not a hard counter it is just a ordinary counter so you need some help from time to time from the other dps to actually help counter her. otherwise she's gonna keep murking everyone in the team just dominating the match and it's just truly annoying because when i was playing support or dps literally the to go pick whenever they started losing was diva that's pretty annoying it's not really that fun and people said that everyone playing maga wasn't fun but like dog he could get easily counter if you were a good anna or if they had a good anna they'd just be countered that easily now you can go kiriko but if you're a good Ana, you're gonna bait out the Suzu. So, yeah, it's much easier to counter a Maga than it is to counter a Diva. I hope some actual nerfs come her way. Let's say two her cooldowns. Like, if they up the cooldowns by a second or two, I'd generally be satisfied. I'd be like, alright, cool. Now she's high A tier instead of being like mid S tier or so. Now, if other buffs come to Zarya or Symmetra, that'd be more fire. Let's say they ignore armor like Winston does. That'd be cool. That'd be a good change of pace because it means that what's her name? Diva would actually get melted. But nah, nah. They actually said they're thinking about giving both of them a nerf. They said beam heroes in general. Just giving them a nerf. This could also include Echo's RB. Let's say that now instead of doing 300 plus damage when they're below half health, now it would be like 200 or 250. I would say that's what they're going for if they're trying to nerf those heroes. Really annoying. And if one not, they're going to go with an excuse and be like, oh, if a hero is using their defense ability, they actually get a bit of damage reduction. Let's go with Sigma and D.Va. They'd be both getting those buffs because they get no sort of damage reduction when they're using their Kinetic Grasp or their Defense Matrix. However, Kinetic Grasp is a much bigger skill gap than defense matrix however i know that buffs are probably going to come diva's way because they're not going to like the little statistics on diva anymore they're going to be like eh, she actually underperformed to our expectations and some other bull crap like that and they're just going to give her some buffs and then orissa is also going to get a little buff as well they're going to be like yeah her damage in general now is now exponential so for each hit she gets on you it's going to keep stacking until you're just insta dead each time and it's going to be truly annoying but anyways my dudes that's all i really want to talk about let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the way they nerf and buff things if you guys like it, if you guys don't like it let me know hopefully the match is going much better for you guys and if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you guys are enjoying the content, please subscribe. With that being said, have a good day and stay safe. Later.